Rich, you must be delighted with the victory today. Yeah, really pleased, uh, especially the first 25 minutes. I thought we we started really bright, uh, we were ruthless. We we obviously went ahead quite early in the game and then followed it up and followed it up. And that was a point uh, that we made to the players. We've, we've took the lead quite a lot at times, but it's trying to get that next one and the next one and the next one and that belief to keep going. So, yeah, really pleasing, pleasing afternoon. Uh, three points that we, we needed. Uh, thought the reaction for the players was different class, so yeah, we're, we're pleased all around. Really interesting team selection from you today. Was that a question of you looking at the opposition and what you thought it, you might need to break them down? No, it was more about us. Uh, I just think the last probably six, seven games we've, we've not created, well, we've created, but we've not probably put the, the ball in the back of the net as often as we, we hoped for. Uh, we've obviously got Topi back. We, we, we started with KPs, deserved his chance, and we brought Dom in, and Judd's been, been excellent for us, so it was a, a kind of change front four. We, we probably went a bit stale in the last five, six games, so I just felt as if we had to freshen up the, the top end of the pitch. And, and some some decisions you'll get right, some you'll get wrong, but thankfully uh, it, it proved the right decision today, and the, uh, I thought the front line was excellent. Because they've got the skill to keep the ball, and the opposition were frightened by it, and obviously gave away a penalty. Yeah, th Dom used his his experience at this level, he just gets his body in and, and takes the takes the touch and goes down. I thought uh, thought he grew into the game really well. Uh, I thought Topi was excellent. Uh, just Topi's one of those players that he knows when to when to take touches, when not to. He protects the ball really well. Obviously scores a penalty, set the ones up for KP and and uh, I was really pleased because I felt good that we had KP, Topi and Dom who all got a barrel of the goals last year at Gloucester. So. I felt comfortable in terms of making those changes because the three players that have played together for a long time or the full season last year. So uh, I was really pleased, disappointed with the goal at the end. Everyone was collectively, but at the start of the game, it was just all about getting a victory. And how important is the experience coming into the what, big, big games coming up now, the Easter period? And did you take Jordan Lydon off with that in mind a little bit? Took him off because he's not played a lot of football. We had the opportunity to get him off the pitch and, and almost protect him for the running. Uh, and he was on a booking as well. So, yeah, the experience is is going to be important moving forward. We've got we've got a, a tough game on, on Friday. We will respect Banbury and we'll go there and try and get three points. We've got to we've got to try and win as many games as we possibly can. Again, I'll say it. We're five games now. We. We're still in the mix, we're still there, we're still fighting and, and we will beat the death. And you seem to have a lot of alternatives, a lot of options today. First time I've looked at the bench for a while and thought, yeah, you've got you've got a good squad there. Yeah, we do and it, I'm a firm believer if we had this squad from, from the off, that's why it's important that moving into next season we, we, we get a budget from the very start where we can go and get quality in and have it from, from the off. If we had this squad... I'm not being disrespectful to any players that have, that have been and gone here or other teams. I think we would be 10 points better off. We've got everything now. We've, we've built a really, really strong strong group. Uh, there was a point in the season where we had only Adam Rooney and now you look at it and we've got uh, Williams and Cowley and Rooney all on the bench and KP deserved the chance and I thought he worked extremely hard. Yeah, it's a question now. Just got, you've got momentum into the, these crucial games. You know, can you execute it away at Banbury and then back home against Buxton? Yeah, well, if you look at the probably the form table since the turn of Christmas, we've been better away from home, so uh, it was just good to get a result here today. But Banbury will be a tough game, and, and I know everyone will look at it and think that they're struggling and all the rest of it, but they are tough games. Uh, so we'll go there with the full respect, but full intention to go and be positive, start the game bright and go and try and get three points. But again, we'll respect everything about them, but... Uh, the remaining five games are about us, it generally is about us and how we approach it and how we go and, go and try and get positive results. And how did you find it in the grandstand today, second game of a touchline ban? You'll be back on Friday. Well, I don't know because about 35 minutes into the game, my youngest daughter told me I'd probably better in the stand, so that was really pleasing from her. Uh, <laughs> no, it was uh, frustrating. I, I don't like it, but sometimes it's good to have that sort of bird's eye view. You can see stuff that's happening. Uh, and I can relate to, to Runes, but I've got to say, Runes has been been fantastic for me. That's obviously what assistant managers are for, but he's he's been great, and and it helps that the players have got huge respect for him. So the messages he's, he's shouting from the side of the picture are getting taken on board, and, and evidently you can see that. Because you mentioned last week at Brackley that sometimes you feel you're needed 
uh, to G things up or make changes. Yeah, probably close on. Yeah, probably more away from home. I think when you're at home, you've got the, the backing of the crowd, and the crowd are were excellent today again, and and uh, they get behind you. But yeah, that's something that I need to learn. It's my character. I'll, I'll try and change it, uh, but. I probably won't. I'm not going to sit here and lie. It's just that's how I play. I've got I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve, and and I just try my try my best for my team. I'll, I'll I'll try and encourage as much as I can. I might step over the mark at times with referees, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's nice to see a different view. But but I'm looking forward to getting back on the touchline. Thanks very much. Thank you. What's the uh, thoughts behind bringing Don McCall in? Is he sort of a, a, just a, the experience had in midfield for the running? Just need another body. Yeah, we've we've, we've got. 18, but we'll now probably last Santa Mendes is probably going to miss a couple of weeks. He sprained his ankle on Tuesday, uh, Thursday night at training. Uh, CC still got a bit of a sore knee, and we've still got Paul down and out. So you take these three out, you've, we've only got 15 players. So uh, obviously the quality that that Dom possesses, uh, was really pleased with his performance today, uh, and that's basically it. We've, we wanted an extra body because because we are short, but uh, we're really pleased with. It. How long are you going to miss Downing for and season? Downing, we're not sure. Got a hamstring injury, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe maybe longer, I don't know. But the season's running out, so uh, hopefully we can get him back sooner rather than later. But obviously at the same time, we've got to try and protect him. And Cissé's just got a little bit of a sore knee, a bit, a bit, of, uh, a bit of tightness inside his knee, and we'll, we'll see how he is. But we're hopeful that we can try and get him back on the on the pitch on Tuesday at training. I suppose it's a chance for Dom as well to try and put a claim for a place in the side for next season. Um, he, he obviously needs to show himself. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I've seen a lot of... It was the same when we signed Cece. A lot of people were commenting on attitude and previous clubs and, that, and that's fine. If I can't affect what's happened previously, but I spoke to, to the manager at Scarborough and he had absolutely no problems with Dom. And I know people that know him. Topi obviously knows him really well and, and uh, I found him really pleasant and, and a joy to work with so albeit I've only seen him for 90 minutes but I'm really pleased with performance really pleased with his attitude his work ethic his quality at times he's got magnificent feet you can see and he's uh, he's not played a lot of football of late he's been coming off the bench so we're hoping to get him as sharp as we possibly can his experience could really be key as well in the last five games because he knows a lot of teams and a lot of the styles of yeah he does he does yeah. and, and obviously that relationship he'll have with KP and, and Topi as well I don't know I think they must have scored about 35 goals between them last year uh, with, with, with Phillips Topi and, and uh, Dom so again that's that's why I, it was a bit more comfortable for me to make those changes at the top end of the pitch because the three of them have got good relationships yeah. okay. alright